Happy Yard Sale Friday and Saturday. It's Saturday morning, and the last two mornings have been downright chilly. Yesterday, Friday morning, was 46.7 when we got up, and today was 49. So, I love the cooler weather, but it's a big change from the 80s and being so humid. So, we had... Uh, Three sales yesterday, and then we had quite a few today. Weren't Most of them were really, really, really bad. But we did get a few treasures between the two days, so I guess it makes it worthwhile to go. So I'm going to show you what we got for the two days. Okay, one of the things that we got yesterday was this wonderful green depression glass and it is really a pretty thing and you know me i use the green for spring christmas with the bees so it'll be used a lot it won't be used now it'll be put away until christmas time and that was ten dollars for this wonderful biscuit jar i did look this up and now i don't remember now what the pattern was called but this was quite pricey on everywhere I saw it, eBay and Etsy. A lot of you know a lot about depression glass. I really don't. I just buy a few pieces here and there that I know I will use. And I knew for $10 that was a good buy and that I would use it at Christmas time. And a biscuit jar is what they were called on eBay. The other piece that we got at that very same sale was this Hazel Atlas Green Depression Glass Measuring Cup. And it does have the H and A on the bottom, so that's how I knew that was Hazel Atlas. And that was $6, and I was thrilled to get that too. And then another thing we got yesterday, you can see it back there on the couch, is that big red, uh, the white enamel wash pan with the red edge. That was $2. I'm trying to think, was it anything else that came from? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The other thing that we got yesterday was this Peanuts cookie jar. Uh, cookie jar. I got cookie jar on a brain. This Peanuts thermos. And, you know, we've all loved Peanuts, Charlie Brown, and all the gang. And our kids grew up loving it. And this one is dated 1956. I was born in 47, so this was dated 1956. It didn't have its little cup with it, but I didn't care for $2. It was only $2, so I thought that was a good buy. Then the other thing we got yesterday was this wonderful old basket. You can tell by the handle that this is a really old one, and it had some problems in the bottom, but someone actually took some wire and wove it through there so that the bottom would be stable. I thought that was just really unique. And that was $5, but I love it. I think it's a great old basket. Then today, I got this chicken that's on wheels. Y'all know how much I love my chickens and roosters. He has a bobble head, and he has metal tail feathers, and this is going out in the garden. And that was $1. Then back there in the back, I thought this was a wonderful buy. This is older seam binding, binding two brand new spools of it, a black and a cream color. And it is the old silk seam binding. And I paid $3 a piece for the full rolls. But this makes wonderful ribbon to tie on things and make um, little hang down pieces to come off of things. And I know I see, um, my friend Michelle at Uniquely Vintage U. She uses seam binding a lot to make bows and, um, use on different things. So I was tickled to get those and those are perfect colors. Then today, another thing I got, which was a fantastic buy is this precious little December angel. He was only 50 cents. Let me see if he's got anything on the bottom. 
Yes, he was Napco. C, 1928. I don't know whether that means 1928 or not, but these little angels for the holiday months are always really expensive. So I was thrilled to get this sweet little thing for 50 cents. At the sale where we got that adorable little angel, I got this wonderful vintage print of this little girl. I love the gold frame and the muted colors. That was $3. I'm not sure if it has any markings on the back. Okay, well this makes it even more special. It's Cynthia, and that's my daughter's name. So I love that. Then we got, at that same sale, where we got the little angel and that little print, I did get eight of these butter pats, and they are made in France. They're Haviland, France. I, on one of the others, you can see the France a lot better. She had 20 on them, but she sold them to me for $10. And y'all know butter pats are expensive. I know these aren't the thick, chunky ones, which I'm dying to get more of, but I will take getting eight of these Havilands for only $10. And then I got these two New Testaments, an orange one and a green one for 50 cents a piece. I got a whisk broom for a dollar. I got the old wooden mallet for a dollar. And I got the wallpaper brush for a dollar. And then back here with the wash pan, you can see I got a Halloween piece. I just like the detail on it. The Halloween cat hanging from its neck and its little scarf and all. And I just thought it was a happy little pumpkin guy or girl. Maybe since it's purple shoes, maybe it's a little girl. But there you can see the the wash pan. Then I got some old books for a quarter a piece. This one is 1965 and it's the Dancing Witch. So that'll be used at Halloween. This one is Harvard Classics. It says it's five foot shelf of books and that was 1938. And I loved Patty Duke. When I was growing up, I just loved watching her on TV and I read the books. So I was thrilled to get that one. And I also, when I was a little child, I read The Happy Hollisters. Uh, Patty Duke was 64 or 65 now, I can't remember. And The Happy Hollisters was 1965. So that is all of our yard sale. Friday and Saturday. I'm still way behind on watching everyone's videos. I'm trying to divide my time between working outside and getting out all my patriotic decor. So hopefully I'll be at a point where I can have time to do an outside video and start on the inside patriotic thing. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy every moment. Love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.